Now let's move on to our next presentation. Whether securing a national event like the recent Super Bowl or speeding the response and recovery of a community ravaged by disaster, operational awareness is key to ensuring federal agencies succeed at their mission. Ardent Management Consulting and Esri Small Business Partner will now present their approach to operational awareness. Please welcome Travis Hardy and Noah Goodman. Thanks, Marcella. Establishing and maintaining secure operational awareness across multiple mission partners is a challenge. However, however, by combining COTS software and agile development approaches, modern GIS technology can quickly create almost any new capability we want. However, in order to take advantage of any new GIS capability that supports operational awareness, we are faced with our most complex challenge, navigating the federal security privacy, and system control processes we all must comply with. Because we work closely with GIS users across multiple federal agencies in national security, cybersecurity, biosecurity, and emergency response, we want to share with you some key considerations to help you streamline your deployments and minimize O&M costs. Now, let's take a look at one operational awareness application that can support a federal watch center today. Right away, you see this application shows all the incidents that the watch center is monitoring across the nation. Additionally, this application can create new incidents and change the status of an existing incident. It also can generate reports required to brief decision makers as an incident unfolds. Now, you probably have one or many of these mission-critical systems supporting your agency today. One of the major challenges for so many federal agencies is keeping pace with new technology and new mission requirements. Meaning, how do we modernize operational awareness at the speed of mission to deliver results, while also complying with our agency's security, privacy, and other IT policies? One way to do this is by incrementally adding purpose-driven apps. This enables us to transform a federal watch center into an insightful, collaborative operations center. By leveraging Portal for ArcGIS, we have an ideal nexus to complement and extend operational awareness systems like the Federal Watch Center application you just saw. From here, we can quickly launch an additional incident monitoring app. It offers a national level view we saw in the earlier incident monitoring system, but now has an analytical component to show the density of activity. And on the left, you see the number and priority of these incidents communicated in seconds. This new app supports a senior watch officer's desk and is easily sent up to the big wall to give quick insights for decision makers. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. While this simple, focused incident monitoring app can be built in a matter of minutes, the hardest part was getting everyone to finally agree on what color those numbers should be. But seriously, getting the change request scheduled and approved by our agency's change control board was actually the hardest part. In our experience, submit your change request well before beginning any development process. Now, it's not uncommon for a watch officer to ask, how do we get better access to video or take advantage of other dynamic data? He wants better operational awareness in a localized view, say, in preparation for an upcoming march in DC. In this case, our dashboard is easily extended using a web service registered in our portal. Now, we can click on a camera, bringing this localized view into focus. Technology is now the easy part. The hard part, enduring an agency's data procurement process, sitting in a room full of lawyers, trying to understand the terms of a data licensing agreement, Tracking down the needed signatures from what I call the five C's of approval complexity, CO, COR, CIO, CTO, and CDO, or Chief Data Officer. Our advice, if you get stuck, try to find that mission owner, the one that truly needs those video cameras. Have them place a few calls on your behalf. Now that our watch center has video camera access, it wants to view federal partner resources. For example, tracking any federal law enforcement that is providing security at the upcoming march. Using secure web services and other COTS technology, like GeoEvent Server, 
we can easily add Blue Force tracking. We can even identify on the on-scene commander and view all of his direct contact information. The technology makes this easy to implement. But before we can make that simple mouse click on that one dot, we had to justify to our agency's privacy office our mission need to access personally identifiable information, or PII, and complete any needed privacy impact assessment on our app. So in our experience, you may be good at doing GIS, but if you want to get your app into production, you need to be great at managing privacy. Now, imagine coordinating a special security event like this with hundreds of people all on one conference call. What could possibly go wrong? Right, Noah? Right. For starters, let's use our platform and not revert to telecons, FTP, and emailing files. We've all been there. The long, unproductive phone calls, file exchanges, version and update issues with our data. We saw how to solve this earlier today in the portal-to-portal -portal collaboration demo, the ability to connect distributed portals through a trusted exchange. Say we want to bring in information from a local partner, the DC Fusion Center, about the upcoming march here in DC. We can access a group, find that shared content from the DC Fusion Center. Here's a web map that has been synchronized through that trusted exchange. Opening the web map, we can see details about the route for the march, emergency shelters, fire and police resources in the area. Now, we can easily marry up the local data from the DC Fusion Center with our federal data. With some pre-planning and a few mouse clicks, we're able to synchronize distributed portals through that trusted exchange. And no need for emailing files or lengthy teleconferences. So, so the technology enables us to achieve this new level of operational awareness quickly. But here again, brokering an interconnection security agreement between these two agencies will always be the challenge. So if COTS GIS technology is an essential but easy part of helping to extend our operational awareness, what should we as GIS professionals be doing to address all of these challenges? First, always submit needed deployment paperwork before starting a development process. Second, the C-suite is an essential for program approval, but I can't emphasize this enough. Get to know the gatekeepers for your deployments. Lastly, Agile is not just for software. It needs to be a management approach. Using these approaches has enabled us to deploy operational awareness capabilities for our customers in as little as four weeks. So let our experiences help you with your journey to deploying operational awareness. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Noah, for sharing your experiences with operational awareness.